Hello and welcome to the 2006 Castle Chess Camp here in Atlanta, Georgia on the Emory University campus. I'm Dr. Fun Fong, one of the counselors and the camp physician, uh, and I want to welcome you to this series of interviews in which we try to answer the question, what makes a chess player strong? How a chess player can become strong? With us today is the original founder of the Castle Chess Camp, Dr. Bob Ferguson. Uh, who is with the American Chess School, and he will be our interviewer today, interviewing the instructors of the Castle Chess Camp. Thank you, Dr. Fong. It's great to be here and uh, at the Castle Chess Camp, and I really have enjoyed everything so far. And before we begin the interviews, I'd like to explain why I started the Castle Chess Camp in the first place. Back in 1979, I received a federal grant for $36,000. It was a three-year grant. And we were to study what would make students better at critical and creative thinking. Chess was one of the areas that was identified by staff, by students, by parents as being a great candidate for developing these thinking skills. Uh, therefore, we incorporated immediately into the grant Alex Dunn, FIDE Master Alex Dunn, and he was a component part of our training. Each year, uh, there were many other aspects of the program, from independent study to creative writing to problem solving with computers and so on. But each year, chess far outdistanced the gains on our standardized test. We were doing the Watson Glazer Critical Thinking Appraisal and uh, the Paul Torrance Tests of Creativity. Every year, chess far outdistanced the growth. And so, therefore, uh, because of those gains, I dedicated myself to doing more with chess and also because my students were beating me and they were getting better than I was, I decided we'd start the Castle Chess Camp and that was really our beginnings.